Hello everyone, this is Game Tutorials, and today in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you the basics of the Unity game engine. This tutorial is targeted mostly towards beginners and people who haven't used this program in a while and want to learn how to use it again. In this tutorial, we will be covering the interface of Unity. We will also be looking at creating a new project and scene, creating terrain, creating the player, placing a skybox, importing Unity assets, importing your own 3D models, editing 3D models, and finally compiling your own game so you can give it to your friends to play. It's a lot to get through, so let's get started. So uh, when you first open Unity, you want to click on New Project and name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it Example and we're just going to leave it as 3D and click Create Project. And once we have opened up, you want to go up to File, New Scene, and make sure you save this scene. And I'm just going to name it Example Scene. And make sure you uh, save it in the Assets folder for your game. So now you have the scene down in the Assets folder. And now. So now I'm going to teach you guys the interface of Unity. It's very important you guys know how to use this. But before before we do this, just click up here on Game Object, 3D Object, and Cube. This is uh, just for demonstration purposes, for when we learn how to use the interface. So first of all, as you can see, there are a lot of tabs in Unity. So the first one is the hierarchy. This is where you can see everything that is in your game, objects and other stuff. So um, you can also double click on any item that's in the hierarchy and in the editor it will, uh, I would say, teleport you to that object. So it just makes it easier to move around in your game space. The inspect tab, when you click on an object, in the hierarchy it will come up this will come up in the inspector tab and you can change all the settings like the position the rotation and the scale and you can change everything all the settings the project tab down here is where you keep all your assets for the game now if you don't know what assets are they are what developers call characters environments background music and sound effects so it's kind of like a fancy word for game files the console, which is here, is where the console is where you can check for errors and warnings while your game is running. If you encounter an error or warning, there's something wrong, and you have to go investigate to f and fix it. It might be like a typo in your script or something, but you just have to fix it so you can act before you can actually export your game. The scene tab is your in-game editor, for, so you can move around objects and do whatever you want. Remember, you are the god of this game. You get to do what you want to do. And the game tab is just like a perspective of what you'll see when you export the game. So now I'm going to teach you some interface, interface tools. You can use your mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out. You can also hold right click and use WASD to do like a free flight camera around in your scene. So the first one is the pan tool, so you can pan around in your um, editor. You have to be in the editor to the, use these tools, by the way. You can also combine it with the right click to uh, uh, do like a 360 around your objects. The select tool lets you select objects and move them around and do other stuff with them. The rotation tool lets you rotate your uh, objects or whatever in your game. The scale tool lets you scale your objects, make them big or small, and make them like different types of shapes. You just make them into whatever you want. And then this tool next to the scale tool. It's kind of similar 
to the scale tool, but it just kind of makes the shapes big or small. So that's all you need to know about the interface at the moment. So now we're going to move on to importing Unity assets. So as I said earlier, assets are what developers call characters, environments, background music, and sound effects. Like I said, it's just like a fancy word for game files. So we're going to import some assets so we can create our game soon in the tutorial. So you want to go up to here to assets. You want to click import package. Then we're going to get the environment package. You want to press import and just let that import. Just wait for it to finish importing all the uh, assets. And we also we are also going to go back up to assets, import package, and characters. So uh, while this does this, I'm just going to talk to you about the asset store. So what the asset store is, it's a store of assets created by other indie developers who use Unity. You can go on the store, buy them, and you can import them into your game and use them for commercial use. And um, you can find it on the internet. It'll be linked down in the description. You can also click up here in the asset store, and it will take you to the asset store. And you can get different assets and stuff. So, uh, yeah. So now we're going to move on. And we're going to start... We can get rid of this cube, by the way. We're going to start creating terrain. So we're going to go up to Game Object. 3D Object. And we're going to click on Terrain down here. So now this is going to spawn in quite a big uh, piece of terrain. And um, what we're going to do now, we're going to go over here into the Inspector tab. We're going to click on this tool, which is the Raise and Lower tool. And then we'll click on this brush here. And you can choose your um, brush size and opacity. I'm just going to keep it as that. And let me just get a good angle here for this. And now, just hold the left click. And you can start forming terrain. It's pretty cool. It's pretty easy, pretty fun actually to create terrain in uh, Unity. Let's actually move out a bit and we'll up the opacity so we can try make some bigger mountains. Uh, let's make the opacity about 50. Yeah, okay. So now I'm going to create just some big hills I guess, yeah. And I know it doesn't look great, but um, <laughs> it's something. So we're just going to zoom right out. And I'm going to put the opacity up. And we're going to put like a... And put maybe up the brush size as well. We're just going to put a border around our game. So players cannot fall into the abyss. Because we do not want that to happen, do we? No, we do not. I know it doesn't look great. You guys can spend as much time as you want creating a border, but I'm just trying to do this quite quickly. So now if we come back in, it's looking pretty good. I mean, there's still some gaps around and stuff, but like we can always fix that later on. So now we're going to set a texture for the terrain to actually make it look nice. So you want to go click on terrain, go in the inspector tab, click on the fourth option here, the brain, the paintbrush. You want to go to edit textures, add textures, then cl click select here and just find a texture. I'm going to use what texture? We're going to use the, the this texture, which we got from the asset we imported. We're just going to X this out and press, oh no, okay, um, okay, we're going to use this one instead. And we're going to press add, and there we go. Now we got all nice grass. It looks alright, could be better, but it looks alright at the moment. So now on this skybox, it doesn't look great at the moment, does it? It, it doesn't. The skybox... It doesn't look great. It's just blue, blue sky, 
doesn't look great. So we're going to make this just look a little bit better. First, you want to go on the asset store and download um, the asset called Classic Skybox. Link will be in the description, so it makes it easier for you. So yeah, once you download, once you download that, um, I know, sorry. When, yeah, once you uh, download, you want to import it into Unity, so you actually have the stuff which I forgot to do, so I'm just doing that right now. Okay, so um, now that we have that downloaded, we can now do, uh, we can now do the thing. So, yeah, window, lighting, come over here, it says skybox. You click on uh, this little circle, and try find a sky that you want. I'm going to do this one because it looks it looks pretty nice. So now we where'd it go? I lost it. Sorry, no yeah. So now here we go. We got the skybox and we're all good to go. So the next thing we're gonna do is create the player. And it might sound hard, but it is actually quite easy. So we're gonna go down into our assets in the project tab. And click on standard assets, characters, first person character. Double click on that, prefabs, and then you want to drag in FPS controller. You want to drag that into the hierarchy, and it's all the way in the corner of our game. That's fine. We can fix that if we get the select tool, move it somewhere. And there we go. We got our guy. He's now in the game. And now if you actually will just save this scene quickly. We can go up to file, save scene. If we press play. In our game view down the bottom. You can see we can walk around. It's a bit laggy at the moment. But as you can see, we can walk around. It's pretty good. So we're going to escape out of this and press play. And now we are going to move on to importing and editing your own 3D models. Um, so I'm using an old farmhouse 3D model, which you can get from the link in the description. So we're going to go up to assets up here. And we're going to go to import new asset. And then you want to go try find, you want to go locate your 3D model and press import. Now, just make sure that your uh, 3D model is either .obj or .fbx because those are the files that Unity supports. So now we've got it down here in our uh, project folder tab down here. So now we're going to drag it in to our scene. And it's a bit big. We can we can we can always uh, change that. So we're gonna spawn it in. There we go. I'm gonna click on the scale tool. Just make it a bit smaller, not too small, but reasonable size. That's pretty good. Now we're gonna have to import textures. So we're gonna go up to assets, import new asset, and go back and textures, and click on the texture, import it. And there is a texture. So now we just drag this texture onto the object in... No, sorry. There we go. We're going to click on this. Click on poly surface. We're going to drag this in onto the scene. Not the game. The scene. Drag it. And now the object actually has some textures. So now if we um, press play down the game view... We got our house. It's actually a little bit too big, but um, like I said, we can always change it with the scale tool. So uh, now we're going to do the final bit of this tutorial, which is compiling your game, also known as building your game. So you want to go up to File, Build Settings, and you can choose. You want to actually make sure that your scene is in this in the scenes to build this. So you want to add, press Add Open Scenes. So now the scene is in there. 
and you can choose your platform. It's gonna, we're just going to leave it now as Windows um, or PC. If you want to change it to Mac, you can change it to Mac, but I'm leaving it as Windows at the moment. Leave the architecture as 86. Don't worry about any of these. And now we're going to press Build. So now the whole game, and you want to save it. Yeah, you save it as an .exe file. We're just going to save it as a tutorial. Jeez, I cannot spell today. Tutorial. Jeez. <laughs> oh. Tutorial game. I don't care. Tutorial game. There we go. And make sure it's X .exe and press save. And it's going to compile everything and build our game. Which we can then open up the .exe file. And actually be able to play this game. And it's finished. So now we can open up the game. And we're going to leave that. Uh, windowed, yep. And here is our finished game as an actual EXE file. I know it's a bit laggy, but my computer's being a bit shit at the moment, so I'm going to have to deal with it. So you, we got our border, really bad one, but whatever. They can just walk off. <laughs> um, we got the textures. We made the, we got the terrain that we made. And here's the house that we actually imported and put the textures on. And we got our first person character for working. So, um, yeah, uh, and that's all the basics covered, guys. Now we can start doing more tutorials and making more complex games in Unity 5. So I hope this tutorial helped you out, and if it did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe for more tutorials in Unity 5. I have an endless runner tutorial series coming up soon if you're interested in that. And I'll also be doing other tutorials in Unity 5 to teach you some other skills and tricks, like image effects and colliders. So make sure to subscribe to keep updated and all on all that. I'm also open to suggestions for tutorials. See so if you want me to make an FPS tutorial series, tell me in the comments. And if enough people want me to do it, I'll do it. Again, I hope this tutorial helps you out. If you need help with something, you can also email me at help.gametutorials at gmail.com. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.